Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I get a lot of uh, inquiries about what kind of holsters I use, and I'll be honest with you, I've tried probably 30 or 40 different types of holsters over my career from different manufacturers. Um, you know, all good, all bad in some ways, but I will tell you this, uh, these particular holsters right here, I just got them a few months ago, and they're from a company called Frontline Holsters, and they're out of Israel, of all places. And their website is actually frontlineholsters.com. Check it out. This is called their KNG line, and that stands for Kydex New Generation. And I've got a belt holster, I've got a paddle holster, and then I've got a tactical holster right here. Well, what is really cool uh, about these holsters is the way they're made. They are literally layers of Kydex, Kedora, melted PVC, foam, polyethylene, and velvet. Um, I don't know where they came up with that, but let me tell you this, they are extremely durable and they're good looking holsters. I mean, you know, not that your holster has to be badass looking, but these are very good looking holsters. And what I love about them is uh, it's got velvet on the inside. So, you know, depending on, uh, I, I carry a Glock 17 uh, and they make them for every gun, but the, the feeling of just the way the gun fits in there, obviously they have retention screws but it is an absolutely beautiful draw. There is no sticking, no nothing. It comes out perfectly. Um, I have these set. This is my tactical holster, and uh, this is actually a paddle holster of the same holster here, but I have it set so if I run, the gun doesn't come out, okay? And you need to do that. You need to set your retention screw if you run or jump over a fence or something, but these are a bomber, bomber holsters. Um, one thing I'll tell you about their tactical holster, uh, and this is how deep in the weeds they got with the development of this stuff. They have a, a retention system that basically has a lock over it. I don't know if you can see that right now, but if you were uh, so inclined, you can actually lock that. So when you go to um, get your pistol out of the holster, it'll, it'll open, but you can cover it. So it's actually a two-step process if you so wish, but, and it comes right out, it's beautiful. You hit it right with your thumb and um, it's probably one of the best tactical holsters I've ever, ever used. But they even got even more in the weeds. The straps have this weird rubber, I don't even know what the hell it is, but it's a rubber coating that when it sticks to your leg, it don't move. And those of you that have wore a tactical holster before, you'll know it'll move if you're walking around your leg and the next thing you'll know, it'll be on your crotch. But let me tell you guys, hands down, these are the best holsters I have ever used. And you know what's even better? They are super, super fair price. You would expect to pay, I would expect to pay 500 bucks for this holster. You won't. Um, go to their website, uh, Frontline Tactical Holsters. Check them out, guys. Best holsters on the planet.